What's up guys? It is November 1st. Temperature is about 48 degrees. This morning is opening general season here in Texas. North and south zones. And uh, I'm gonna be bow hunting. I'm gonna be bow hunting all year at our south central Texas property. Hopefully I see one of those bucks I'm after, and possibly a new buck. It's some, it's some nice weather, and it's pre-rut activity right now, and I brought my rattling bag and grunter, so I may, I may try that a little bit if the deer aren't just moving naturally. But uh, looking forward to it, I've been hunting them pretty hard. Not as much as I would like, but I've been choosing to stay out of there because it's been warm recently, and I I just don't want them to bust me with their noses. Y'all already know their their uh, ability to sniff out the human scent is impeccable, and uh, it's sometimes you just got to be patient and not hunt. And you got to wait for prime opportunities. Temperature is perfect. I'm not going to be sweating. I'm not going to have any moisture on my skin walking to the blind. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this morning. So hopefully we see something. If not, we got all year, guys. And uh, there's an ambulance or a fire truck. I probably shouldn't be videotaping while I'm driving, but uh, I want to do a little intro. Anyway, y'all stay tuned, and hopefully we get on a deer here soon. The majority of a bow hunter's time is spent waiting and waiting, sometimes impatiently. Through the heat, the cold, sleet and wind, this is one of those mornings when the stars aligned and all the effort put forth paid its fruit. This is what you dream of right here. This is why we bow hunt. just smoked a good buck. I shot him about 10 minutes ago. I have a buck fever like crazy. I've calmed myself down finally. But man, I hit him perfect. Uh, he was barely quartering away. That uh, front right leg was pushed forward, opened up the vitals perfectly. I think I smoked him. I saw uh, a lot of blood shoot out right right at the point of impact uh, I cannot wait to track him <laughs> I'm probably gonna give him about 40 minutes or so but I think I'm gonna find him uh, within 50 75 yards 
I'm shooting uh, Matthew's monster with the rage, with rage broadheads. After I shot him, I was shaking like a leaf. Before I shot him, I was fine. I was just in the zone. It was awesome. I uh, I had some camera issues. He came out right here below me, about 10 yards away. Right when I saw him, I knew he was a shooter. And uh, uh, all of a sudden, all these bucks started pouring in, and my camera just was saying, hey, restart, restart. My camera was telling me, restart, restart. And the lens wouldn't open all the way. So I actually had to take it off the tripod twice. And somehow, these bucks were within 15, 20 yards. They did not see me or hear me. And I was panicking. Because <laughs> if you know me, I, I love getting my, my hunts on camera. And if I don't, I feel sad. Oh man, but uh, anyway, I got I got the camera fixed about 30 seconds later. Uh, he kind of fights with the younger buck, pushes him off the feed pile, and he comes out from the left side of the screen, pops in frame. <whistles> Rise, kill, eat. This is actually the live tracking job. I didn't find the buck, then backtrack, then start videotaping. I wanted to bring you all the raw, uncut footage of the entire experience. I didn't include all the tracking footage. The video would have been a little too long. If you want to skip ahead, find this a little boring, skip ahead to about the nine and a half minute mark. But this is the live tracking, and you will see how how slow I actually travel, even with a good blood trail. It's important not to bust through there and damage any potential sign that can lead you to your animal. Here's a quick tip I've learned over the years of tracking. Whenever you come up to a area where the buck may be stopped or pawed or just kind of stumbled, in my experience they usually change directions. So if they're traveling in a general direction, wherever they'll stumble, as you can see right here where the dirt's turned up, they're usually going to change directions, either left or right, or veer off one way or another. So keep that in mind and, and pay attention to those areas. Ah. 
He's down. <laughs> oh man, he went. He went maybe 60, 70 yards. Oh man, that is awesome. Perfect blood trail all the way. Rage broadheads. Awesome. Right on the road too. My tree stands right in that oak tree. The feeder's right there. He just ran along through here and piled up right in the center of the road. That's awesome. He's a beautiful deer. That's a great book. Man. I shot him on the other side, so I'd be curious to see. Good looking deer. That's a great deer. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm gonna flip him over. Other half of the arrow is still in him. That's perfect. Right there. He was kind of quartering away too, so that is that is perfect. I didn't bet you anything. That's a heart shot. <laughs> wow. He's gonna make a beautiful euro. Good looking deer. Very nice. Well, Ruben's not here, my partner, but uh, I used the Rage Broadhead with the shot collar that he gave me. So he's definitely here in spirit. And uh, we're both gonna celebrate this with some good eating. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we got more exciting hunts. It's opening morning of deer season and I feel like weight just got lifted up off my shoulders <laughs> I feel like uh, I don't know I don't know it's like after taking finals in, at, in your class or after accomplishing a goal it's just a weight off your shoulders what a beauty perfect shot just a beautiful animal you gotta thank God for this one God is good. He creates some awesome, awesome adventures, awesome creatures, and uh, definitely give all the glory to Him. <laughs>